Hello, I'm Ollie and this is Criminally, where I talk about crime, pulp, horror, that kind of thing. Today, Scary Mermaids, I want to talk to you about The Salt Grows Heavy by Cassandra Core. So Cassandra Core is an author um, who you would have heard a lot about on Booktube a year or so ago. Um, so her last book, uh, which was called Nothing But Black and Teeth, um, was uh, kind of floating around Booktube a lot. And people had very different opinions of it. So a lot of people, myself included, really liked it. I thought it was a, um, a rich and interesting horror story, um, interestingly detailed, uh, and, you know, that had a lot to recommend it. But a lot of people didn't like it. A lot of people found that the characters were... Uh, unpleasant to read or unbelievable um, that the language was over the top and that it felt you know a bit confusing and overwhelming um, and I can see why I, I do I do get people's criticisms of it um, and I think that people may well have the same criticisms of The Salt Grows Heavy I think it, it shares a lot of the same characteristics as that other book um, and that the people who liked uh, nothing but black and teeth will like the salt grows heavy and the people who didn't like nothing but black and teeth will not like the salt grows heavy so what's it about and it's a difficult book to describe because for parts of it i kind of felt like i didn't really know what was going on um which may sound like a terrible criticism but I, it's not meant to be in the context of this book so it's a fairy tale um the kind of backdrop to it is that a a mermaid um has married a human king has had some some children and they have then wrecked havoc on Havoc on the kingdom and the mermaid is now kind of traveling across the kingdom um, with this guy who's a plague doctor um, and just kind of discovering what's been going on and it, it's a book that you know it's only short it's a novella and it's one of those books that just throws you into into its story with with very little preamble and that you just have to you just have to accept what's going on and kind of go with it um, and I found that to be extremely effective um and whilst at, at times i felt like i was trying to catch up with the story at, at no point did i not enjoy reading the book it's really dark it's it's really rich in terms of like the language it uses and things like that and again this is something i would normally criticize in a book but this is a book that uses lots of long words lots of long words lots of archaic words there are even some words in there that i'm not sure are actually words there was one word in particular i can't remember what it was now that when i looked it up i got nothing um i think it's a word that cassandra core made up but but it's a word that you you understood uh, what they were getting at um, when it was used in the book so it's an interesting interesting book and i think Cass cassandra core has a very distinctive style of writing and is um is unapologetic in terms of using linguistic complexity and um and and you know not not babying their readers um so i i found this to be a really effective book because of that like i say you feel like you are thrown into thrown in at the deep end with it it's only short it could easily have been padded out to three or four hundred pages to to give you know a slower build up to what was going on to give more backstory and that kind of thing but i think that would have been a mistake i think doing that would have lessened the impact of the book and what you end up with instead is something that feels a bit like a dream it's you know you you're constantly a bit bewildered by what's happening there's some really striking imagery and things like that you know horrific stuff happens in this book this kind of swirling mix of stuff all around you it's a it's a bit like if you've ever watched like a 1970s European horror movie, um, particularly um, if you've been uh, drinking or uh, using other mind altering substances before watching it, um, it's that kind of experience. It's, it's that experience of, you know, kind of dozing off, dozing off during a horror film and then waking up and not really knowing what's going on. It's wonderful. It's, it's a, 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 a very different kind of, um, of experience of reading and one that I personally really, really enjoyed in this book um, but it's also one that I recognize is probably not for everybody I can see a lot of people really not getting on with this book at all so go into it with that you know with, with that caveat that it doesn't you know it doesn't baby you as a reader 
Um, it is, um, it, it's probably very pretentious, um, but somehow that worked for me. There's something about Cassandra Call's writing that I really, really enjoy. Um, and I, I've struggled to put my finger on what it is, because as I say, most of the most of the traits about this book that I've, I've talked about are things I don't normally like in books. I don't normally like, you know, over the top, you know, pur purple prose, uh, which this book definitely has. Um, I don't normally like books that throw you in at the deep end. I normally like a bit of a preamble. Um, and, um, you know, this is a fairy tale. And I'm not necessarily a big fan of, of kind of fairy tale retelling type stories either. But somehow, for for me, this book worked wonderfully. Um, so, yeah, I, I give it a, a big thumbs up. Uh, but as I say, I don't expect big thumbs up from everybody. OK, time for a random book from the shelves. So, so here is one that I think would appeal to people who like Cassandra Core. Uh, that is uh, Through the Woods by Emily Carroll, which is a, a graphic novel with kind of fairy tale retellings that are incredibly dark and creepy. And it has beautiful, beautiful artwork. Really a fantastically put together book. Really dark, uh, but really, really entertaining. Uh, I loved it. So I hope you found that interesting. Let me know what you think of Cassandra Core if you've read their books. And also let me know if you sometimes enjoy books where you don't really have a clue what's going on. Um, anyway, as always, thank you very much for watching. I hope you're safe and well out there. I hope you're reading good stuff. And I'll speak to you again very soon. Cheerio.